What's up Aquarius? This is Jesse with 44 Astro with a new moon tarot reading for the new moon coming up on March 10th. It is going to be at 20 degrees Pisces. It will be at 5 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. It will be the 28th mansion of the moon. Oh, that card wants to come out. 28th mansion of the moon is the last mansion of the moon, so clearly has to do with completion. Um, there are a lot of planets in Pisces right now, and during this new moon, there will be a stellium between the sun, the moon, uh, Mercury, and Neptune. This is very dreamy, artistic type energy that may want to be brought to light or communicated in some way, or spiritual energy. You may want to break down uh, new spiritual practices. Um, you may be wanting to sacrifice in some way. I don't recommend doing that um, for your spiritual practice. Um, for Aquarius Ascendant, you're talking in your first or second house. That's the house of your material possessions. There could be a sacrifice or a loss in some way of those things or a new um, kind of idea on how to gain material things or self, which is your persona, how you present yourself to the world. Um, you could be doing it in a very, you want to appear, you want to appear in a very spiritual way. Um, there is a square between Uranus and Mars, so I'd be very careful of spontaneous explosions of anger or even spontaneous sexual encounters. Um, that's probably going to be the minority of people, but it still could happen because that is a representation of that square. And they won't be healthy ones, so I'd say don't partake or be careful if you do. Um, and of course, explosions of angers are almost never healthy. Well, they can be healthy. It's just maybe not going to lead to a uh, happy, conducive situation. Okay, saying bring love into the situation, Aquarius. There's some kind of squabbling going on, some kind of uh, contention here, some kind of tension. Yeah, it definitely could be spiritual in nature, but it also could be just like at work, a large corporation, or it could be on social media, likely social media, wherever this is taking place. It's saying bring love to the situation. So if there's some situation that you are involved in, whether you are directly one of the individuals um, involved in it or just like a bystander, you can still bring love into the situation to try to rectify it. Looks like there was an offer of love in some way. Not necessarily love, but it could be just an offer in general of some way. Somebody put something forth. Um, or you did and it was not received uh, in the way that you would want it to be received or um, maybe it wasn't received I wouldn't say negatively but probably not in the way you expect whatever you, whatever you offered and you're focusing on you know the negative aspect of it when realistically it probably wasn't exactly the way you took it it may be just fine but with that also being said, in the near future, there is some kind of um, argument or squabbling or fighting. And it's saying bring love into that situation. So whatever was either offered to you or that you offered that was rejected, and most likely it was rejected because of the card crossing it, it may have caused some type of argument. Um, or it may, and it may not even be you directly involved with it. It could just be around you, people that are close to you. you know, this is in the recent past, some kind of victory, some kind of accomplishment some kind of recognition that you received or victory in some sort of situation or feeling like you were victorious in some sort of situation. But that was the recent past. The recent future is going to be this. So it's a step back. That's why you need to bring the love in. You know, the conscious influence is planning. Some kind of planning that you're, that you're engaged in right now. Planning for the future. Again, I always say the Dr. Evil thing, planning to take over the world. I don't think you're actually planning to take over the world, but... You, you're trying to maybe um, take control of your world, which you, we all should do. That's an important aspect. But you have to be complete before you can do anything along those lines, which means exploring not just the good aspects of ourselves or the things we like about ourselves, but admitting to the things that we don't like about ourselves and also experiencing them even though we don't like them. That's how you integrate your shadow. And so it doesn't get repressed and then project outwardly and then manifest around you. <laughs> because then it gets a bit chaotic. This is in the unconscious influence. So you are refusing to see the situation for what it is, or you're very confused, or you feel blocked in this situation, in whatever this situation is. This could be an argument with multiple people. Most likely it's online. This is like some kind of like opinion on a specific matter that got like out of hand. And you know people can get, they're just, oh, they all got their opinions. 
It doesn't have to be online, but that's generally where people seem to present their ideas nowadays and then comment on other people's and nitpick and whatnot. But it could be in person. It could happen in person. It could be happening at work. It could be happening in your relationship. It could be happening with your family. Any of those things. But either way, there was some kind of difference of opinions. And everyone has different... There's as many, like Gandhi said, there's as many different uh, religions as there are minds. Well, guess what? There's as many different opinions as there are minds too. So it can result into this. And it doesn't have to be necessarily um, an argument that's pejorative in nature, negative, and everybody's screaming at each other or being mean. It can be done in a very uh, logical and loving manner. So if you can bring love into the situation and not only present your side of the story or your argument, but also under, help them understand that you actually do um, want to understand their perspective and that you do give it a valid um, uh, a valid attempt at understanding, even though you can only understand it from your perspective, um, that'll probably bring love into the situation and help uh, them see that you actually do maybe even care, even though you do have a difference of opinion. You should always respect others' opinions and, and even give them validity as much as you can. But you can only, you can only look at things the way that you look at them. Uh, that's my cat Lee still in the background going crazy. So you right now, it looks like there's some kind of new opportunity. This could have to do with some, this could have to do with money. Whatever this, this disagreement was about or whatever you're presenting for, it could have to do with money. It could have to do with funding too. It could have to do with how you want to allocate specific resources. And like I said, it could be work, but it could just be um, that you have, the argument could be specifically about money, right? But it also could be about your work, your project, what it is that you're working on. Maybe that's where the argument is, is like where you want to put this money or how you want it to be used. You may have a specific idea of how you want it to be used as to where others think it should be used in a different way. It could be family members over some kind of inheritance or something. But it's some kind of windfall or opportunity with money. And, and that's you right now. And it could be you putting forth like an investment or putting forth your own money into a project so that it can grow. And you know, you gotta spend money to make money, right? And maybe individuals are like, well, you shouldn't be spending that money, you shouldn't be doing this or that money. You're like, I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> and you're trying to manifest, this is in your environment. You're trying to manifest something that, that you've been working on. You're trying to, well, you've been working toward it, but you're trying to manifest something specific, something that you've been planning. And only you know what that is. And it's definitely something that you want to show. This is something that you want others to see whether it be on social media in large groups or whether it just be, I mean, clearly you want it to be in large groups, but it doesn't, it may not be something that you necessarily present on social media. It could be something that's like a product, um, an innovation of some sort, an invention. It could just be an idea. It could be a piece of art, any of that. But it's something that you definitely want to show and that you are investing in heavily. And there are some that maybe view that you shouldn't be investing that much, that much into it, but all you can do is just bring love into the situation and try to help them understand your perspective, especially if it's you're trying to convince individuals to donate or to, um, yeah, to invest in some way, or maybe they have, they have part of this money is theirs too, and, they want, and you want them to invest it so that you can um, accomplish what you're trying to accomplish and you need that, those resources. Um, bring love into the situation. Help them understand. Break it down for them. Let them know how you're going to use that to create this, which is the outcome, the happy home. And that what, that's what the outcome will be. But you need to bring love into the situation. I mean, for some of you, it could be some kind of inheritance, some kind of money inheritance that multiple people are arguing over. It could be, it's just some, it could be some windfall of money in some way. Or it could be that you're receiving profits from whatever this idea, whatever this that you put out is, and you're trying to figure out how there were multiple people involved in it, who gets what and how. So bring love into this situation. Bring balance in this situation, situation so you can figure it out. Because when it comes to money, people can be really ruthless. And that sucks. But if you bring love into the situation and you, and you try, to, try to understand others' point of views and present yours clearly, it's going to work out just fine. And you're going to have the happy home. And you're going to be able to accomplish whatever it is that you are trying to manifest. And you want to keep everybody together too. Because if, 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 if there's multiple people involved with whatever this project is and it's through y'all's union or through y'all's um, 
exchanging of ideas and energy that you were able to create or accomplish this, you want to keep that together. So bring love into it so that it will stay um, harmonious and so that you can continue to create because that's, that's important. Okay, that's all I have, Aquarius. Um, please consider liking, subscribing, commenting. You don't have to if you don't want to, but it would mean a lot to me and it would help the algorithm uh, promote my videos more. And that, that way I'll be interested in making more content. Either way, you don't have to if you don't want to. I'm just grateful that you're here and I'm just grateful for the view. And I hope to see you here again, Aquarius. Happy New Moon.